Hello, this is Craig Hartman for VFDs.com. Today we're going to address the subject of overload ratings on variable frequency drives. Okay, here is a variable frequency drive, and here is a three-phase induction motor, the kind of motor typically used with today's variable frequency drives. Now, how does a motor work? Well, motors produce torque. How, what is torque? Torque is how hard you're twisting this shaft. So the harder that shaft twists, the more power you're getting out of that motor, or the more torque you're getting out of that motor, to be more exact. Motors on variable frequency drives are constant torque devices. That means you can get about the same amount of torque at zero speed as you can at 50% speed or 100% speed. Now if you start this motor and you run it with no torque, in other words, the shaft is just in free air, you will see about 25%, 30%, 40% or sometimes higher current. That's just to magnetize the motor. But once you start loading this shaft down, then you begin to get more current flowing into the motor because you need more power to drive that torque on the output shaft. So when you get to about 50% torque, you'll see about 50% current. 75% torque, 75% current. 150% torque, 150% current. Anywhere between about 50% torque and 150% torque, the current is roughly going to be proportional to the torque. Now, why do we care about torque? Let's take a look at some applications here. This first application is of a conveyor. Now, a conveyor is a constant torque device. So you're hauling coal up a slant and the weight of the coal stays about the same. So the torque on this motor trying to power that conveyor stays about the same uh, from at all loads. So we call that a constant torque device. This fan is a variable torque device. Now with a variable torque device, I could go in and just spin the fan with my hand. But as the fan goes faster and faster, it loads up higher and higher. So the speed causes the torque to change, and the torque changes with speed, therefore we, it varies, and we call that a variable torque load. Now typically on variable torque loads, you don't need a lot of starting torque, and you don't need a lot of overload. So if you buy a drive that has 110% overload, or in other words, 110% torque, then you're fine. But on a conveyor, the conveyor goes down, coal piles up, it rains, you get ice, you get belt stiffness, you get stiff bearings. It may require a lot of torque just to break that conveyor away and get it moving. So typically, on variable torque devices, we only need about 110% torque. That means 110% current, and therefore drives that we call variable torque drives typically were rated with 110% overload current for one minute. With constant torque devices, then you need higher torque, and typically we have rated constant torque drives at 150% current for one minute, which means you can get 150% torque out of your motor for one minute. Now all applications are different, so you need to look at your application and don't think so much about constant torque or variable torque. Think about how much overload rating do you need? Variable frequency drive manufacturers are actually moving away from the variable torque and constant torque designations and starting to simply tell you what the overload rating is. And typical overload ratings are 100%, 110%, 120%, 150%, or 200% current for one minute. And think about that as giving you that percentage torque for one minute. So that's how overload ratings work. If you need more information, please call one of our specialists at VFDs.com or please check out our other educational videos on our YouTube channel.